Let's do another run with Solgard and random ally clan. Solgard has Inkind, Guy in Shard 1, uses this for the upgrade paths in different ways. And foregone power, apply frostbite 6 to the front enemy unit, discard a card at random. Common in 25, let's jump in. Titan's Gratitude, Perils of Production and Unnamed Tome. Decent. Um, yeah, that looks much better than the last uh, start. We also have the Exile Umbra Clan, so we have the Exile Umbra card, I will show that just in a minute. Daedalus with Explosive Sigil, Arcos with Rally Dazed Dark Shard, and, and Hellborn Harvest at the weight of Contrition Dark Shard. Hellborn Harvest triggers when one of our units die on the same floor as the Dark Shard. Well, I when we play a unit on the same floor as that Dark Shard. Um, the Dark Shards are summoned by Arcus. They will be on a random floor and they will n be non-interactable because they are phased and they will despawn after, after a turn. And we have Seraph the Chaste who will remove half of any buff and debuff effect stacks. Okay, I think Shard is not a buff, but I might be wrong. Otherwise, this might be difficult for Soul Guard as our main damage source. We have to see. Titan's Gratitude, Perils of Production, and Unnamed Tome. Yeah, I assumed that was the case with the uh, Arcus, uh, Arcus map symbol. He always has two halves. And they represent the different dark shards. So I guess the left one is shattering and the right one is dazed. That makes sense with their icons. Silence or buff effect. Uh, we are up against Seraph the Chase, so we have to face. We have to face the uh, the sweep boss, the pyro wings which can be silenced, but Cleansing Water is very helpful against a lot of trials. I think I'm gonna take Cleansing Water. So, we have Dire Channel, Incan Gain Shard 1, Action Deal 3 damage per shard to the front enemy units, and we have Titan Channel, who has big stats, faced, so it doesn't attack and can be interacted with but it still incants to gain shards and if it has four stacks of shards it no longer is faced so it's a pretty high stat unit that requires you to play four spells on a floor before it becomes active which is pretty interesting i'm tempted to try it out so hmm what can we do with this? Basically that's a good champion if you are not building around Incant and just play a few spells and not as many as possible because the shards have no further effect after 4. Um, are we doing that? We might not be doing that. Thirty-five, thirty-five is decent, but it's not like it can carry the run on their own. Hmm. I've never done Titan Channel before. Let's try it out. Thirty-five, thirty-five is a pretty solid stat line for now. Uh, Mark of Invasion. That's. No, we have Plinks. We should try. Oh, I haven't I haven't talked about Plinks yet. So let's do that real quick. Plink is deal one damage to a random enemy unit twice. Slay, add a common or uncommon morsel unit to your hand. That's the base card for the Exiled Umbra Clan and replaces Shade Splitter. 
Um, it's harder to generate morsels with it, but it's pretty decent with spell damage. Do we play Soul Guard on the top? We do want to play some spells on the top. So let's see. Oh, Soul Guard doesn't even get dazed on the top floor. So if we just play all our spells this turn, then we can immediately wake him up and he won't be dazed. Not that that's necessary because we have the foregone power. Can Soul Guard eat while he's faced? No, he can't. Makes sense. But let's get him out of his faced state. Yeah, he's not dazed. That's pretty interesting, pretty cool. So now we have a pretty big unit on the top floor. Um, but that's about it. We can kill this backline clergyman and then we especially can kill the collector. Lifesteal is pretty good on him. We should start working on these guys. Um, casting future spells on this floor doesn't really do a lot. Uh, we should be able to deal with the remaining two clergymen on this floor. Well, we would only hit the frontliner anyway who dies. So. Um, let's blink on this floor first. And I think we should also play on this floor. Ooh, damage shield and attack. It's nice. Um, I do want to kill one of these guys immediately instead of having to wait until the end of turn when he would already be dead anyways. Nice plink. Oh, nice morsels. Very nice morsels. Uh, another train steward here. Titan spread it to foreground power. Nice. We dealt quite a bit of damage to that guy. Apply some rage. And some frostbite. This guy's almost dead. Yeah. Crypt Builder, Flash Freeze, Helico Crystallis. Both top floor dazed and eat for specific petition to not work while faced. Both didn't make sense, so we passed out to death. That, may, that makes sense. Good work. Good work. Crypt Builder is pretty decent with foregone power. So, what do we do with a big. With a single big unit that doesn't scale on itself in a scale by itself in a Stygian Umbra deck. Does Stygian Umbra have a use for so for something like that? We could find Furnace Tap. That would be pretty good on Solgar. Other than that, I guess we just support him with spells. Builder. We need some form of scaling though. Eventually. A Tumbra Salt seems reasonable. We can feed Soul Guard. Uh, we can have other units behind or in front of him. What would be great? Uh, probably more Stygian units than Umbra. Large stone, uh, that's a pretty hard sell. Maybe an icy silo fight? Spell weakness? We have a few big spells with Crypt Builder and the Titan's Gratitude. This is very experimental. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
that leaves no room for morsels. Maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I just want to reroll for a quick or multi strike. Give me quick! I thought 115 would be enough, but it's not. Uh, quick would have been great. Unit draft for a normal emblem. Yeah, let's do it. Can't activate Soul Guard this turn. I think we wanna play the spell on this floor. The 25 damage is too important. Um, we need to be pretty lucky to activate him this turn. Now we can potentially discard the morsels. If we can even get morsels, that is. Because right now we can't. Unless, hmm, yeah. I mean, we can try to get lucky. That's gonna be our best uh, spell anyways. Okay, we didn't, so now we get the morsels instead. That at least kills the overcharged apprentice. I'd rather have another train steward on the top floor. Blink could work, but I think I want to use... Well, I can use one Blink and one Foregone Power on this floor, no matter what. Okay. We managed to get a Morsel. Blink, and then Morsel Jeweler, and then we wake up Soul Guard. Stop the can triggers because I do want to play some spells here. Not ideal. Hmm, how strong are we? Second hit of the icy side of I kills this guy. This guy doesn't have spikes. We should be strong enough. Titan's Tooth, Ice Tornado, Energy Siphon. Take a Titan's Tooth. Space Prism seems good. Immortal Trade is interesting with Soul Guard. It's a good card for a large, individual, individually powerful unit. I like it. Crucible Warden Shadow Eater Silo Fight. No. Don't want these. Um, Umbra unit. We have very low morsel generation. We can't rely on these plinks, and we only have one and Tumbra salt. Plinks will sometimes work, of course, but not always. Still going here, anyways. Bulldozer is available. Shadow Siege is available. We have two perils of production. No. It's not what I want. I want Soul Guard to be my Shadow Siege. We have a sweep bar. Probably better to use the Hold of Wonder Crystal. Lock. We have a lot of this card, that's why I'm. Upgrading these things. Uh, 
Let's also upgrade the Titan Beast. Gratitude to be zero cost because I like these random discount cards to be zero cost so we can play other things before them. Can I not? I have to. That could be so big. We will be missing that card in the upcoming Talos or Battle Lose fight. It's Battle Lose, right? Um, with the one damage sig sigil. Uh, but we should be fine without it, I think. Just because we have a pretty well balanced deck at the moment. Oh wait, that's the capacity reduced floor. Why, I, why am I trying to set up here? Should be setting up the top floor. I yeah, I definitely should. Mostly because of these rage guys. We didn't purge any of their rage. Yeah, obviously I can't play spells on Solgar. Makes sense. Uh, let's try to not discard Fogon power. Oh well. We don't need Solgar active just yet, but I wanna have him active relatively soon. Uh, that's a spell. Um, hmm, I would. Well, it does matter that he's not active this turn, but I wanna have him active next turn. Definitely. Let's kill the bomb. And then one more spell will activate Solgard. Uh, we are gonna play more than one spell here. Uh, damage shield health. Mm, I don't think we need damage shield because we will be using life steal eventually. This guy could do with some damage shields. And the Titan Boost on the bottom floor. Great. That seals their damage on death ability. Sure. Might as well play these. Um, I guess this goes on. Deadly. We'll be taking some damage here. It's not a ton. We can easily deal with this guy, so let's apply the frostbite here. Uh, think I'm gonna Titan's Gratitude, hope to discard the Titan's Tooth, and gonna play it myself if I don't. That worked out. No life steal yet, but there it is. Oh, that's not enough. Let's add some rage. Still not enough. Do some damage to this guy. We are two damage off. Seriously? Ouch. <sighs> Ice Empire Ancient Synergy. Like an Ice Empire. Titan Sentry is interesting. Uh, don't really. Not really what I'm looking for, to be honest. Uh, let's still take it. And I think we want Capacity. 
do we need to have these units all on one floor? We certainly don't. Draw. Draw, draw, draw. Draw is usually the best thing you can deck you can get. It's just so powerful to have more options. Yeah, this is very juicy. Shadow box. When you play your 20th morsel of the battle, deal 150 damage to all enemy units on all floors. That's amazing, but we will never generate 20 morsels in one fight. That's an awesome new relic, though. Uh, I want to remove some of these planks as well. want to upgrade some, but... 75, 75, but now we require nine stacks of shards. Shard. Ooh. I thought it would go up. I didn't think it would go up that fast. How quickly can we play nine spells? Let's do it. Okay, I didn't think it would go up that high. That's that's some pressure. We need him to deal with the frontliners. So we need to play every spell we have on his floor. That includes perils of production. Let's use Titan Sentry to buy some time. Silo fight behind and then Soul Guard on his own floor. And that means we can play Perils on that floor. I guess we don't play Perils. The enemies have haste. The enemies do have haste. Interesting. Makes me want to play the silo fight on the top. Yep. Please don't discard Titan's Grave here. There we go. Soul Guard activated. But he's not strong enough to deal with these. What do we do? Hira is looking forward to some awesome Soul Guard action and then it turns out he's not strong enough. How do I deal with that? Dealing 30th turn. Ouch. Oh, Soul God. What a letdown. I guess that's why I picked cards like Ice Empire. Well, at least he's definitely strong enough for this guy. <sighs> Titan Channel. 
Is it good? The glacial seal? Mm, not really what I want. Francis Worms, Bike of the Stygian. How do we deal with this situation? We just took like... How much damage did we take? 84 damage did we... We, t we, t we took 84 damage in this fight. We can't have that happen again. Obviously with 27 health. Man. I am worried. I'm so worried. Glacial seal is not really what I want. Void binding might be good. Mm. Yes, yes, that's a good upgrade. We had a copy to this car uh, of this car for this car pile when we play it. That's not too exciting by itself, but once we upgrade it again. It will gain zero cost. It will be zero cost. We need the health and we need the spell upgrades. Hold over. We need hold over on ice on ice and pile to survive here. Consume removal? Eh. <laughs> uh, no. Magic power on the Entumbra Salt, or maybe on the Titan's Gratitude, actually. We need to cost reduce the Void Binding. Okay. I think if we survive this fight, we might be okay. Crystal Cloak Armor Emblem. Honestly, I don't really want to do that. Yep. Can't do it. Not on this fight. That would be pretty rough. At least this time the enemies don't have haste. I want to set up this second floor for now. This guy is sweep anyways, so we'll trigger the revenge. Oh god. more spells we can cast four more spells if we are no we, we we simply can cast four more spells so we are okay yeah i don't want to deal with them but rain this turn top floor guy dies to Permafrost uh, to Frostbite. Yeah, in theory I have everything I need, but I feel like it's too inconsistent. I need more consistency in this deck. It's my main problem. I discard Paris, that will be bad. Uh, I should just discard the Titan's tool, guarantee. If 
Finally we have eyes on pie off. Should solve all my problems. Um I might need to finish the boss with it, so I will keep it around. We didn't apply any spell weakness. <sighs> Let's try this again. I need a way to get rid of the stealth on the boss. <sighs> I think the setup was fine. Was it fine? It was fine. is more important actually extra health would be kind of important here Uh, yeah, I didn't set up on top because I will almost certainly need spell weakness to finish off the boss. I have an idea. And I think that's one of the powers of Soul God. I think we delay Soul God. I think we delay Soul Guard, so Soul Guard stays healthy throughout this fight. Of course that means I have to find a way to deal with these Clip Guardians, but... I should play everything. This is 50 damage. Get Soul Guard pretty close to waking up. Uh, this is, yeah, this is enough to kill the backliner. Wake up so we got next turn. There's a full health. That might not be enough still. I uh, should have played the fog on power first. Yep, we only deal frostbite now. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Seems like Titan Channel is not that great in a deck like this. I wonder what you need to make Titan, Titan Channel good. have any defensive scaling is one problem we only had mosses and it was just impossible to deal with the stealth guy we would probably have fi been fine against most other things we would we also had a 50% chance to cleanse the the buff against them more backline damage and faster income How more backline damage and faster in can't kill this boss. I was pretty fine. Well, if I have more in can't, then isn't another soul guard just better because they scale infinite infinitely, while this soul guard stops scaling up, stops doing, stops benefiting from in can't after nine spells. Yeah, that's that's a little bit of a problem. It would be cool if you could buff it up while faced. That would be pretty awesome. I did lose out on a void binding by doing this, so I lost the chance to gain two damage shield. There was a way to get that void binding off. And if I had retried and set up Soul Guard on the bottom floor, it might have worked out. <sighs> yeah. But this didn't. This unit still confuses me. It will take uh, It will take a while for me to figure out how to use it and it depends a lot on how his final stats are as well i'm assuming he scales a bit more than other units so i assume his final stage would be something like 15 stacks of shard and like 170 170 the stat line but i have no way of knowing right now and i don't wanna be spoiled yet i want to find out on my self 